Good morning, I'm meteorologist Michael White. This is our webcast on Fox10TV.com for Wednesday morning. And hey, it has been extremely cold out so far today. We've had freeze warnings around parts of the Gulf Coast, and we have new ones that are going to be issued for tonight. Wind chill values started off in the mid-20s. They are going to be with us all day because our projected high will only reach the upper 50s, and the winds expected to be breezy all day long. Now, the freeze warning starts at midnight tonight and runs through 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, and it includes all Almost all sections of the viewing area except spots south of Interstate 10 along our Florida counties and our Alabama counties. What we're expecting for a high this afternoon, about 57, but with a wind of 25 miles an hour to the north, it's not really going to feel that comfortable outside. The sky will be mostly sunny, and after sunset, the temperature will begin to fall rapidly. We'll see 52 by the time we hit 5 o'clock. Now, our sky is going to be mostly sunny. It will be a nice day, but these clouds you're seeing out in the Gulf, they're going to be tracking back to the north starting tomorrow as Gulf moisture begins to return, and that's also why we're going to see slightly higher humidity and the main reason we are going to see a few light showers starting tomorrow. As far as our lows tonight, they'll be dipping down in most spots between about 32 around Evergreen and Chatham to the lower 40s in places like Gulf Shores, Pensacola, and Destin. So another cold one tonight, but thankfully the winds will be dying down. The high this afternoon, 57. Sunny and windy tonight. We will be mostly clear. Lows between 29 and 35 in most spots and up on the day planner. We're back in the mid 60s tomorrow, back in the 70s starting on Friday, and our best shot for rain and storms comes along our next cold front, which will be into Sunday and Monday of next week. That's your webcast. Thank you so much for watching right here on Fox10TV.com. I'm meteorologist Michael White, and I hope you have a great day.